I'm warning you ahead of time that this video is kind of a rant. So if that's not your sort of thing, I understand and now you know. But I feel like this is important to talk about and I feel like it's important to say and I feel like too often we just sit back and, and, and it's 2022, man. And this has become just a recurring problem that I've seen time and time again this year with Nintendo Switch. And I firmly believe they just aren't being smart. They just aren't doing the best thing for themselves, for the fans, for the dollars, for it all, because Nintendo Switch is hugely successful, and yet these huge companies keep missing that boat. Yet again, today, we have another Nintendo Switch game that is not coming alongside the other versions. You might laugh, but I'm really excited for Roller Champions, and initially, it was supposed to be out on everything. Instead, next week, May 25th, it'll be out on Xbox, PlayStation, PC, not Switch. They say the Switch version is coming at a later date, and this is like reoccurring trauma at this point, all right? This is like deja vu to the maximum. Okay, we see Evil Dead come out everywhere. Oh, the Switch version, it's, it's coming later. Dying Light 2, oh, it's supposed to be day and date, but maybe it'll come out this summer. Life is Strange Remastered, everything hits February 1st, not the Switch version. I could go on and on and on. There are so many games. Genshin Impact, still not on Switch. Title after title that tries to be on everything, and the Switch one is the one that gets the boot. And every time, it's like, really? Really? Has Nintendo, its audience, its player base, its sales figures really not done enough to earn a seat at the table on the same day as everybody else? Really, 107 million systems, exponentially more than the other current-gen comparable consoles. And we're still doing this delay thing for just one. For just us. For just the Switch. They say it's coming the same day. They act like it is. Once that release date approaches, Switch version got shifted. Sorry, guys. Now, I understand that it takes a lot of time, effort, and money, and man, woman, people power to make games. I get it. But they eventually make it happen, right? It eventually does come. So it's not like the Switch is too tricky to develop for. It's not like, oh, the Switch is impossible. It's not like the Switch is so sucky they can't make it work because they do just a long time later. Now, I wanna give you some numbers here because this will blow your mind. How many PlayStation 5s are out there? under 20 million. How many Xbox Series X and S consoles are out there? Under 15 million. How many Nintendo Switches are out there? 107 million. Developers and publishers of the world, you're not making the smart choice. It makes so much sense to put your game on Switch, especially a title like Roller Champions, a free to play title. Everybody and their brother can get this game but they can't get this game if they don't have it on their platform. And the Switch is the most plentiful current platform out there. Even compared to some last gen consoles, like the Xbox One, which sold approximately 50 million units, the Switch is double it. Now the PS4 is still a bit ahead of Switch, although in America, the Switch has passed PlayStation 4. This is an unstoppable force, and yet everybody is trying to stop it. They divert their resources to finishing the Xbox ports, the PlayStation ports, the PC ports, and they don't prioritize the Switch. And I think that's just stupid. Now, maybe they're thinking that these games, a lot of them are more adult-oriented, like Dying Light and Evil Dead, and I, I guess you could say life is strange. And so maybe they feel people would rather pick them up on the more powerful platforms. But that's a decision for the consumer to make, not for the company to make. And I think we see many games sell incredibly well on Switch and people prioritize being able to play this stuff on the go. Roller Champions is a really, really fun multiplayer game. It's got the same oomph and pizzazz that Rocket League has in a new way. And I played it way back at E3 2019, back when E3 was a thing, a real in life, walk around, touch it thing. It was so much fun. Like literally, it was competition. It was adrenaline. It was a photo finish. And I thought it was fantastic. It's taken them three years to get to this point of release. And they just didn't get the Switch version ready. Why don't these companies prioritize the platform that sells like gangbusters? 
I know that the stigma is that Nintendo games sell and nothing else does, but that has been disproven by a number of third-party titles, as well as a number of indie titles that saw their best, strongest launches on Switch. I understand in 2017, when it's an unproven device and the Wii U stunk. I understand in 2018, where maybe it was just a random lucky year. I understand in 2019, where perhaps a fluke strikes twice. 2020, I don't know, maybe you're finally starting to get your Switch team together. But by now, man, by now, it's only because you're choosing to prioritize elsewhere. We figured out Switch development. We see how well it sells. We know Nintendo supports the heck out of it. And then it continues to just grind and grind and grind, selling through 50,000 plus units per day. 50,000 Switches have sold each and every day since this system launched. It's insane and hundreds of thousands of games. And your game could be one of them if you'd put it out day and date. I know there still are sales to be had if you wait six months, but it's so much less exciting. It is a dampener and it's a worse dampener when you act like it's gonna come day and date and then somehow it doesn't. Prioritize the Switch instead of last gen. Prioritize the Switch instead of PS5. I don't know what choices you need to make, but the Switch with 107 million players and a fervent audience that is always excited for new things when we don't get a ton of third party stuff, like you're taking the time, the money, and the effort to put it on Switch. Place yourselves in the best position for it to do well. Okay, gosh, if Dying Light 2 or any of these games, Roller Champions, Evil Dead hit Switch on day one, it has a much better chance of being successful than if you release it 6, 12, 18, 24 months down the road. And then you wonder, oh, why didn't it do so well on Switch? Well, it's because you're charging full value a year later and people have already played it elsewhere. Give them the choice at the start and it'll do super well. Many games do appropriately climb the ranks on the eShop from other companies not named Nintendo when they come out day and day. I feel like companies put more priority back in the Wii U era than they do now. And I know we're getting more third-party games, yet some of the biggest stuff like Madden and Call of Duty, Batman and Mass Effect hit the Wii U when it was supposed to hit and we're still counting the clock ticks on Switch. Roller Champions is not a crazy intensive game. It's not something that they need to spend years trying to really configure for the Switch. I could say the same about Evil Dead, Life is Strange Remastered. I mean, Genshin Impact runs on phones. I think prioritizing the Switch is something it is high time companies put a priority on. Pedestal this system. It is not just our favorite because we're cutesy, nostalgic Nintendo fans. It's proven itself. And I know there's a lot behind the scenes that go into these things. I know there's difficulty. I know it takes time. I know you don't just snap your fingers and make a game happen. The only logical explanation to me is that it is much more efficient to make one congruent version that can sort of seamlessly run on PlayStation, Xbox, and PC. And the Switch takes extra effort. So get it out on three and then one later versus like, oh, divert time from this three pack to this one pack and yes, that makes sense, but when we're talking about a combined player base for PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X, and Series S of under 35 million, the Switch has triple that install base. Triple, triple. Your sales potential, your player base potential, your audience potential is massive on Switch. I understand sacrifices have to be made, something's gotta give. Game development is much harder than the average person really believes it to be. But I think prioritizing Switch and putting the time and resources towards this platform, haven't Nintendo earned that? Haven't the audience earned that with 107 million units out there? It's just bonkers to see this happen time and time and time again. And if you know ahead of time, your Switch version is gonna take a little extra, budget out for that. Budget out the time, the money, the man, woman, people power, so you can make it happen. Because when it happens, it's rewarded. It's rewarded. And right now it seems like only Warner Brothers gets that. They release Lego Skywalker Saga on the same day, they say they're doing the same with Hogwarts and Gollum as well, and that will be really impressive because those games scale in scope from a Lego block adventure to a massive open world Harry Potter to a Gollum linear adventure, and getting all of them day and date on the Switch will be impressive as all heck, if for no other reason than nobody else seems like they can do that right now. This system is past the point where we should be grateful for an eventual port. 
This system is past the point where we should hope years down the line we get an old entry from a favorite franchise. This system has earned its place. It's earned its audience. It's earned its value. It's worth the companies make it happen. I, I just can't stand the continuous scene. Games get announced for everything and then they get shoved aside for Switch. And where are they coming? Is Dying Light 2 coming in August like they said? I don't know. I don't think so. They haven't said anything. When's Genshin Impact coming? When will Evil Dead be here? It's a lot of who knows. They don't even have a set date and that makes the wait even harder. I really want to see the Switch get a seat at the table. I really want to see 107 million players be served the same day as everybody else. Let me know what you think. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Am I completely off base or am I spot on the money? Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Have a fantastic day, everybody. I love you a lot. I appreciate you so much. Make sure you're staying safe, staying healthy, staying happy, staying positive out there. And until next time, Switch Force, out.